Welcome to this video. So today I'm going to talk about some spoilers that we've gotten a few weeks ago actually. I think this is one of those situations where we get spoilers but we don't actually get them in game for quite some time. So I thought that I would just recap them because I feel like people have almost kind of forgotten some of them. I mean I even forgot that we got like the Appaloosa spoilers three weeks ago which is like how? So yeah, I'm just gonna talk about some of those things, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot. But before I get into it, I actually posted a video yesterday where I checked how much money I spent on Star Stable, so if you're interested, I'm gonna put the link in the description and in the upper right corner, but now let's get into it. So first, I thought that I would talk about the updated characters because they are, I think, the most popular thing out of here. Now, I'm happy that Star Stable is updating them, but they really are taking their sweet time with doing them because they've been saying that they're working on updating the characters since 2020 and I just, I doubt that they were working on them back then. So I don't want to give them like, I don't know how much credit. The concept art does look quite nice, but anyway, I'm just gonna read what Star Solo said about the updated characters on their blog, along with some concept art of different body types, hairstyles, and skin tones. So Star Solo said, on top of your mind are, of course, updated characters. This is a very big and very important project, and we understand that people hoped this would be out in 2021. I just hate this part. We hoped so too when we spoke about it at the end of 2020, but we realized along the way that our plans needed to change. Not such an uncommon occurrence in the game development. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here and I hope that this is the last time that I'm stopping during this read, but I feel like they can say that, oh, we understand that people hoped that they would be out in 2021, but the thing is that in their 2020 article, they really emphasize that they are working on updating the characters and all the other things that they talked about we got i mean most of them the complicated ones such as updated dark riders which they've been talking about since 2019 i think we still haven't really gotten but yeah i just hate how they kind of you know weasel their way out of this and I feel like the moment they realized that they're not gonna be able to update them, they should have made a post on their social media saying that, uh, I don't know, they apologize, but due to, I don't know, scheduling issues, they will not be able to put out the characters this year because, oh my gosh, but I would hate if they kind of blamed the pandemic on this because they've been actually talking about updating char the characters before the whole pandemic started, but oh my gosh, I'm just rambling. I, yeah, let's, let's get back. Behind the scenes, we have been hard at work and big things are already happening with a growing team led by a great producer who is working hard on answering important questions. For example, can our clothing and animations adjust to different body shapes? Will all character types fit on all horses? How can we implement new hairstyles and makeup in a way that won't affect the game performance? We want to push the look and feel of our characters forward with inclusivity and diversity leading the way. Honestly, I'm kind of um, lost with this because they just listed a bunch of questions and they didn't really give us answers. I mean, obviously the clothing and everything will adjust, but I, as I said, I'm kind of lost why do you list so many questions and then not answer it? Anyway, after that they said, while there is still work to do, we're excited to share a sneak peek at some of our concept art. Please keep in mind that we're sharing this from our earlier exploration process. Nothing is final and there are still many questions and requirements to explore. What you see is subject to change based on additional findings. So from the concept art, we see a lot of different body types, 
different skin tones, hairstyles, which I think is very nice because people have been asking for those things for such a long time and I think, you know, creating a game character that you can relate to is very good for you to, you know, I don't know, kind of connect more with the game. And after that, they said, we hope to share even more details of our work in the coming months. So keep your eyes open for that. And as soon as we are ready with a release date, we will share that as well, because we're just as excited as you to see our new characters in action in the game. I feel like I've already said many things, but now I'm just thinking, you know, updated characters are just another one of those cosmetic changes in the game and to be completely honest, I would rather they add more content, be, be it quests or just some other things to do in the game rather than, you know, having this beautiful, amazing characters. Don't get me wrong, I really like that they're updating them, but I feel like we shouldn't give them like countless amounts of praise because this is something that we've been promised for almost three years in a row now and I feel like when they fail to deliver so many times I, I don't think we should just be quiet about it. This spoiler video is just turning into me ranting but I just, I don't know. Anyway, next up are the Appaloosa horses, which are going to come, I would guess, later in January. We're not getting them next week, but I feel like the week after that, or even three weeks from now, I feel like it's gonna be something like that. Anyway, there's gonna be seven different coat colors. Six of them are gonna be sold at Steve's, and one of them is going to be in Fort Pinta. They're gonna cost 900 star coins, and to buy one, you're gonna have to be level 11. So here are their gates, and actually, if you want to see the gate comparison to the old Appaloosa horses, I've made a video about that, and I'm gonna link it in the description and in the upper right corner if you'd like to check it out. And here are also all the different coat colors. So on their blog, they also mentioned that Soul Rider and received a few small adjustments this year and that we're gonna get some new main story quests and a new character. But anyway, this is what they said. And received a few small adjustments this year, as her story will indeed continue early next year. We also realized that we need another new character one you've definitely caught a glimpse of if you follow us on other channels. 
concept theme for that character is ongoing now and we hope to share her progress with you in the near future. I'm honestly really not excited for this character and though they said that Anne's story will continue early this year, I feel like early for them is like in May because for example, for Dark Riders, they literally have, you know, the concept art, they have the models and they are gonna take one month for each Dark Rider to do the animations and all of that, which is... I obviously don't know anything about, you know, animations, but from what I've heard, that's such a long time and Star Stable as I said in the beginning of the video, they really take their time with everything and I feel like once they get competition, it's really gonna be bad for them. They also hinted at Baroness finally getting a completed racetrack and this is what they said. A certain distinguished lady deserves a new look for her freshly completed racetrack, right? And of course, Star Stable is also updating the Dark Riders. So on their blog they said the horse and character teams, NPCs, non-player characters focus in 2021 has primarily been on the Dark Riders with a couple of other interesting updates and additions thrown into the mix. I won't spoil too many details about their personalities or their stories, but here's where we are with their progress right now. Next they said many of you saw a sneaky peek of Sabine fierce and honorable in her own way, of course. Sabine is the first Dark Rider to be entirely completed. This means she has been through the entire creation process, concepting, modeling, rigging, skinning, animating, and being implemented into the game itself. Her companion horse, Khan, is still in need of some personalized animations to let his intimidating nature shine through. You may be familiar with Jessica, but allow me to introduce you to her now as Jay, the dark rider who makes everything she does look effortless. We'll be starting her animations in January with her companion horse receiving animation work early next year as well. The haunting creature I'm proud to share with you next is Katya. Her animations are currently in progress while her companion horse, Mortifa, is wrapped up and ready to go. Our music team is especially excited about this character. This deceptively cute addition is Chia. She is ready for her animations to begin after the holiday break. Her horse, Nihili, is quite unique, with more than meets the eye, and will be one of the last of the group to receive animations that is also planned for the first half of next year. Even though the Dark Riders are wrapping up, it might take some time before we reach their parts of the story within the game. There are exciting plans in place, but if we don't want to rush to get in there without making it a meaningful experience. So this is just another way of them saying that they're gonna take their time. It's been so long and we really have basically no real main story and they're changing so many things i'm not invested in the game at all anymore i feel like a few years ago when Tina and youtubers like that were making so many theories about you know where the main story could lead to i was so invested and so interested but now I feel like we're never actually going to get answers to those questions because Star Stable doesn't care about the story at all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed as always and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!